another Commodore 64 related um, adventure um, I bought this a Kempston Competition Pro joystick well Kempston was the interface um, this was a Competition Pro joystick I don't know if they were made by Kempston does it say no somebody's rubbed off the label well I bought this as working off eBay and uh, I plugged it in it feels uh, quite nice that feels a bit can you hear that a little bit ooh, squidgy but uh, quite happy with the condition and uh, plugged it in and uh, what happens well up works down works left works right works but no hang on wait down doesn't work look so I thought maybe one of the micro switches is gone so let's have a look Well, hey, so it's a micro switch one. That's good. So if I push the joystick down, it's this one. So uh, what I did, I plugged this in and I shorted those two leads out just because then I knew it wasn't the switch. But when I shorted those out, it still didn't do down. So it looks like the problem is with the lead. So I put a tester on the lead and uh, could establish once it took me quite a while to find the correct pins but uh, I established that these pinouts uh, when connected to that blue wire there um, I couldn't get a connection I couldn't get continuity through there so I needed to replace this lead so can I buy a joystick lead off eBay no so what did I buy um, I bought an Atari joystick uh, this Atari joystick, it's a, uh, still got the same D connector. In fact, Atari joysticks, that's the connector. They started it all these, using these seven pin Ds. Uh, so what's inside this? Let's have a look at this. This is a, this is an aftermarket, um, one. Well, a, mo a modern one. I think it was about eight pounds delivered from eBay. So a uh, much more of a modern, um, device but made from the old jigs no doubt you can get a uh, very modern ones that have got little computers in them and plug into hdmi and you can play the games on but that's not what i'm trying to do so uh let's have a look at that you right okay so i think this is pretty much how i i remember them being made you've got these little clicky switches here and i remember when i used to play about with these that um Every so often the clicks used to move, so you had to use, you have to uh, resellotape them back on, which uh, was a bit of a palaver. But anyway, so I thought, right, I'll rip the lead out of that and do it. And then I thought, hang on, no, I've got two joysticks. Why would I want to get rid of this joystick uh, just to get this wire? So that didn't work. So let's uh, put this away. Not lose it. So what am I going to get? Can I get a D-pin cable? I couldn't. I didn't really know what to do, but then I discovered I could get a joystick expansion cable. So that's arrived today. Now these things have got um, a, a D pin socket, a 7D socket. Uh, it's not seven, is it? One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten pin, it's not seven pin. Anyway, yeah, where did I get seven from? It's 10, maybe. Might even be 11. I can't count. All right, so I decided I'd get one of these, which actually is an original one. And uh, what I'm going to do then, I'm going to um, rewire this. So I'm going to cut this in half. Well, cut the socket off, probably. And then um, get some spade terminals like these. And uh, take this out as a wire, as a complete loom. Uh, completely take that out of the joystick so that I have it as a reference. And then hopefully wire my own version of it as well so that's the plan so blue is down white is up 
left is that, left is green, and right is brown. and fire is orange so that's my original jig so let's see how this comes out this isn't going to come off at all is it going to come off easy or is it going to be a fight there you go one i don't think i'm going to have to be able to do this on camera i'm just going to have to use force off camera All right, that wasn't easy. Nice that that comes out as its own little module. So I suppose you could twist it if one of the directions wasn't working very well. Mm, twist that round. That's if, if on a joystick that did four directions, you didn't use one very much. Maybe that's what the original owner did. I don't know. Okay, so they came out all right. Uh, and let's do the fire switches. Right, well that was way too much effort. Pop that back. Shouldn't need that anymore, well for the moment. So what I just want to do is replicate this rig. Work out which pin each thing goes to. So, um, and then I'll need to create this um, again with the wires the same way for um, my new version. Well, it's been a while um, since I decided to order some new spade connectors for this and here they are. Okay, interesting. They come uh, all joined together. Must be just pushed out of one bit of metal. That's interesting. Okay, so what have I done since we last spoke? Well, I've worked out all of the different connections for this instead of putting a load of spade connectors on this bit i just cut that off the old one and uh connected it back in nice little bit of heat shrink so now uh some of those where there was two i did the same thing for that so i've just got to um put the spade connectors on the remaining ones so don't know which the best way of doing this is going to be, but let's take one of these off. Oh, not easy. Right, so not sure how I'm going to do this. Let's uh, zoom in a bit. So there's an inner crimp and an outer crimp. Really, I'd like to solder it. But let's just pop that in there and I will quickly solder it. It'll make me a bit happier with the joint then. So in comes the noise. Well, that's definitely a big old blubber solder. Hopefully it's small enough for me to get my uh, heat shrink over well hey it's not ha. just crimp that bit up a bit just about you know maybe I won't do a heat shrink on these. <laughs> right. So I'll do that with all the other ones then and uh, then fit them back in the joystick.
Okay, so that's everything wired back in. Uh, I think that's all right. Just want to make sure that that this red um, wire doesn't get caught. I slipped this cable relief down the side and was able to peel it off and then stick it on the new cable and then super glued the two halves together so that seemed to be a, a decent job and uh, that's everything in there and of course these colours will mean nothing it's taken me a while to get the colours in the right place uh, but I think they're all good now so all I've got to do is put it together again and test it Hopefully this will go and because I'm going into plastic turn it back until I hear a click and then go forward just to make sure I don't double thread it Okay, so there we are, my new Kempston Competition Pro joystick. So let's test it. Right, here it goes then, up, yay, down, yay, left, right. It works, oh and fire, both fire buttons, excellent. 